Hi, welcome to the uh, Currency Podcast. This, here I'm back in my room. Welcome back to the persona of this guy that just does it. Does it, does things in his room. Does this podcast in his room. That's the persona that I'm welcoming you back to. Hello, congratulations to this putrid version of myself. Um, Any more or less putrid than the other ones, I don't know. There's, uh, I mean, some people that I am are more rancid than they are putrid. And um, some are more repugnant. Some are more t uh, taste, bad in bad taste. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm going to make a beat today. And that's what this podcast is going to become. It's going to become a podcast where I just make a beat every episode. I'm just going to do it in my room. I'm going to do at least one more live performance on Monday at Cafe Kerouac. And it will be a, an, an impromptu comedy special. And that will be the end of my theatrical run. Um, the time that I went into the city to take this show on the road. Um, I... I would explain my reasons for what I do, but that's boring. You, you can see the result. Uh, you'll see what I'm doing in the future as it happens. I don't need to tell you what I'm about to do. I was listening to Donald Trump. I was, I was listening to a... I was listening to Donald Trump. I was listening to him. I was listening. And he was talking. No. I was watching an interview of him on YouTube, an old interview, and he said something about that ambition so when people talk about ambition he said it nauseates him to hear that he thinks it's disgusting and seeing as that he is so successful i want to know what he means why ambition is so uh repugnant to him and he's basically saying he contrasts it with he's a person who just does what he wants to do he works a lot but he likes his work rather than people who say that they're going to do all these things. And I was like, shit, that sounds like me. I probably talk about, like, I'm going to be ambitious. And I could see where that would be nauseating. Because ambition is like a word for wanting to be preferred by people. And it's not a come to Jesus moment or anything like that. It's just a fun thing that, it's just an idea that struck me. Um... Don't be ambitious. Don't be don't be ambitious because ambitious is just the world where you go into talking about it. Talking about what you're going to do. Basically, I'm just trying to give you the basics of what I'm going to do in the future, which is that this podcast is now one where I make a new beat every time. And so now let me start by making this beat and then I'll talk about the issues while I do the beat. Um, I'll do the beat and I'll talk about the issues. I'll talk about the issues while I do the beat. They'll happen at the same time. I was uh, I was at uh, a intersection, stopped at a red light, and in front of me were there's elevated train tracks that go over the road, and there were two trains, and um, one of them was going that way, and then the other one was going the opposite direction, which is that way, which is different. Um, you see, if you're watching it, this video that I pointed to the opposite direction. Um, You'll see what I do as I do it in the future. But anyway, there's two trains that are going opposite of each other. And I was like, wow. Two trains at one time. Two two trains on two tracks. So uh, two going in two different directions. And uh, I couldn't even see that there, if there were more tracks. So I was like, there probably are only two. Because I only see two bridges for two tracks for two trains going in two different directions. And I was like, shit, I've never seen two trains in that spot before. I have only Before that, I would have even only known that there was one track um for one train but uh two tracks with two trains and the front train was lower was just like short cars in comparison to the back train so the back train was a backdrop for the front train which is better than going in two different directions um like it was a carnival ride or something uh like good carnival rides they try to capture that going in two different directions at once like a tilt a whirl you don't know which way you're gonna spin you get you get both directions covered and the, but if I was if I was fa if I was on the other side of these two train tracks, I wouldn't have even seen that front train as as because it would have been lower than the it would have been lower than the back train 
because the back train was taller from where I was looking. But it's like, that's not true. That's just some, the perspective that I had. Because if I was on the other side of it, I would have only seen one train. And um, so, I, I mean, if you don't find meaning and truth in that, that, like, don't, you don't got to listen to Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson will just make that about, like, the patriarchy or whatever. Um, you, you don't got to listen to Jordan Peterson for, like, deeper truth. Because when you listen to me, you know, I, I hope I painted the picture for you. Because what is it? The first, if I was on the other side and just saw the taller train and didn't see the, the front train, which was shorter, I wouldn't have even known that there was a shorter train acting as a backdrop for the front train. But what's a backdrop anymore at that point? Um, what, what is, it's a, it's a front drop. And when there's two trains right next to each other and they're both moving, so they're both active. So you're like, something's going on here. Meaning, means, transportation, means, means transportation transportation means transportation but i'm talking about your ability to travel your means your money you mo the money you have to be able to travel do you have means does it mean do you mean i think if you move more than you mean more if you move more than you mean more you can you can take that one to the bank and um you can take it to the bank you can take it there you show up at the bank show up at the bank with your means and then drop that shit in the bank. Open up a bank account first. Somebody, some comedian did a joke. I think it was like uh, Nathan Fielder. Did something about that. Bringing money to the bank and just dropping it off without a bank account because he didn't realize. But he was making a joke. Um, he didn't, he was making a joke about, somebody told him to bring money to, your, to the bank. And he's like, oh, what if I just bring it and drop it off? Ah, I shouldn't have said any of that because, um, I was really on a roll. I was like rolling like those trains with the example I was bringing up before, before it got derailed by me citing another comedian, citing somebody else, citing somebody else's work. Oh, let me bring up this example of this uh, thing that I know because it is lesser entertainment as I think about it now to just bring up pop cultural references for the sake, I mean, just for bringing, just for bringing them up. That's not, but it's it's a matter of it's a matter of means of meaning. But there, I mean, if it's two trains, and I'm saying the reason it's important is because of the meaning behind, because of the means, because of the transportation, because of the movement, because of the trans, because of the movement. Notice how I cut off the word transportation because it's too long, by me saying a different word instead. And so, um, because I wanted to talk about movement. Before I was done saying transportation, who has time to think about transportation when you can think about movement? But, you know, you look at two trains going in opposite directions and moving. You look at two trains going in opposite directions and they're, um, and they're moving in different... They're moving in different directions, though. But they're moving in different directions, I said to myself when I was at the intersection. One was going that way, the other one was going that way. Okay, but they were doing it at the same time, but I had never seen these two trains at this place before. But I think I knew in the back of my mind there were two tracks. But, um, so, but because they're both moving, I was like, oh, that's a sight to see. The same as when something is worth money, that's a sight to see when somebody's poured money. When somebody has means, that's more meaningful. When something is worth more money, that's more meaningful. The same as this example I brought up about minor league baseball versus major league baseball, everybody, like... Major League Baseball materializes a lot more, and so the memories made on a Major League Baseball field are, are a lot more recorded, right? And, and so, like, a Minor League Baseball game might be recorded, but it's not, uh, the, it's not picked up by anybody's, set of, by anybody's set of eyes, by more people's sets of eyes. The things that are more materializing, or the things that are more recorded, or the things that are more m m remembered. Uh, it remembered and even memorized in some cases if it's a meaningful enough thing that happens on the base baseball field. The things that are worth more money are the things that you're going to want to watch, but it's really only things that are meaningful, almost like transportation. But do you want to watch transportation? Apparently I do. Apparently I do because it's fun if you're at an overpass like one of those um, 
those thing those oases in Chicago, Illinois. If you're at an oasis and then you're over the freeway, you just watch the cars go. That's fun. If you have the right perspective, if you have the right angle, then it does become entertaining. But it's like something is only entertaining if it's moving. And so why don't I do this live? Why don't I um, get, why am I not? It's because I'm hesitant, I'm inhibited, I'm hindered. I don't have enough, I don't have the energy I want to do because, oh, public spaces, and that's terrifying. To have this level of energy, this level of uh, vulnerability of, of thinking, now you're seeing my thoughts, now you're seeing my, my brain, you know? Uh, but why don't I do this when I'm live? Why don't I go in with a bunch of energy? Yeah, it's because I'm not used to it, but now now I'm operating at a higher level of energy than I would normally do in here. So it's look, it looks like we're onto something. Looks like we're onto something here. Like those trains that stayed on those tracks. You see how I use the word on in more than one way? Because on has enough utility to describe both what I'm doing in this podcast room, which is the podcast room now, um, and, uh, that's what I call it. That's what I make my roommates call it. Like, hey, don't call that my room. That's the podcast room. And, um, because, because, because I, um, but this is an example of cadence. So this is an example of rhythm. You know, this is an example, this is an example of, um, um, this is experimental. This is, an, this is an experimental. Oh, it's great to watch somebody crafting their, honing their, it's nice to watch somebody experimenting and honing their. This is, it's nice to watch when it's just in those quiet moments when you see somebody experimenting and the, oh, is it going to be something? And I, it's just something that we're working on. Oh, and we're just lighting the spark here and, and we're just lighting the spark folks. And then when you get that, when you get that spark plug going, but, um, but you know, somebody else, people show up and then my energy level goes down and then we go, then we get quieter. So hopefully no, so hopefully none of my roommates show up because then we go quieter because it's like, don't want the exposure of the nakedness of my mind, you know, because of the nakedness of my mind, then it shows all of these, uh, um, speaking for very many minutes, autistically, nerdily about two trains going in two different directions because let's bring some self-awareness into the picture but self-awareness just makes you woke self-awareness just makes you woke is it good to be woke no because that's a word for it's almost like uh being gay or something like that because uh you don't want to be because it's what you don't want to be i think you can be woke who cares? Talk about the trains again. All right, so two trains going into, all right, so I'm sitting at the intersection, right? Two trains going in two different directions, one and then two, one of them and then two of them. But there's meaning to be found. And so, but what I wanted to mention about it was that it's like the front, what's what's a backdrop? If is it? It's not anything more than a front drop for the opposite perspective. A backdrop is a front drop. A front drop is a backdrop. The front drop, the front train that I was looking at, the shorter one. That's just that's a backdrop that you can't even see from the other side. What's a backdrop beside? Like a when something's tall enough, you can't see the shit behind it. That's just like a, a backdrop is invisible. All backdrops are invisible when you're just looking at something because you're looking at a any opaque object like a car or let's say a semi truck. The shit it's every there's shit behind there and it's a backdrop, but every backdrop is invisible when you're looking at an opaque object because every object you're looking at is a front drop for a backdrop that you can't see that's behind it, as long as it's covering that thing. And that thing, I mean, but, uh, I mean, I'm saying there is an invisible part of every backdrop because if, is there a front drop? Is there a front drop? Ask yourself that question, and then if there is one, then, because then if there is one, then you know that there is a at least partially invisible backdrop that it's covering up. And so let's just get all the secrets out in the open. Uh, let's just be, um, let's just, let's just live, uh, let's live carefree. I'm, so I'm going to start making this beat and then, um, and then my life will be easier once I make this beat because then people will want to watch this and then I'll make money off of it. And when I make enough money, then I can ward off conservatives. They're, I can ward off the evil spirits because conservatives, 
They only care about you if you're making money. Otherwise, they'll be like, you're a fraud. We have grounds for dismissal. Um, so I'm not using my I'm not using my uh, regular mic today because I can't use I can't record on my laptop while making a beat on my laptop. Uh, this is a problem that I've run into the, during the entire entirety of the time that I've been making beats while making this podcast. So I mean, I need another laptop or something. But what I'm doing is that I'm going to be more committed to doing things in my life or whatever it is. That's just the motivation you need is the motivation that is spurred on by the knowledge of of the intention and to having the intentions to give you the knowledge to um to uh do like the intention of no I will actually do it and then I will carry it out. But first you have to have the knowledge, but before the knowledge you have to have the intentions. But if you just focus on the intentions or the knowledge, you're not going to get anywhere. That's that's a wise um that's wisdom. That's wisdom. You ever heard of wisdom? That is an example of wisdom. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to make this beat and it'll be, um, it'll be a beat that I make and we'll see how, but I, I've already wasted 15 minutes. And so I'm just going to run the thing as I do. You like that? Three, three hit, three hi hat ticks, and since I keep using this same sound, I'm gonna go into my channel rack. Or that's not what is. Yes, I'm gonna go into my um, what's it called here? My view, my mixer. I'm gonna go to my mixer, and I'm going to make this hat. I'm gonna put reverb on the hat just so that the sound is different from the other ones I've previously made. It's this hat sound because you know. Because I don't, because I didn't look up a different hat sound. Oh God, reverb hat. That's what I'm stuck with now. Ew. Oh my God. Anyway, no, we're not doing that. Maybe I just find some distortion. This is a waste of time. I'm going to um um uh, and so but i'm just gonna keep i'm gonna make some shit here no no we're gonna take the reverb reverb off and we're going to yep that's much better and so i'm just gonna make this beat here it is let's see what i'm thinking here it's an example of cadence. the thing i was talking before is like oh i can do cadence the way i'm talking the same as i'd make a beat i'm just gonna make my entire life into a giant beat the the vegetable or whatever Oh yeah. Hmm. Yeah. There it is. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Wait for it. Yeah. Do you hear it? There it is again. One more time. Okay. Right. Okie dokie. And uh, that's that's the person I am. <laughs> And then, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Okay, we got da da da. No, 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 that's not what I want. There it is. I might edit some of this out. That sounds like crap. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna put in one of these. We put in a five. That's a fiver. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna put in one of these. I mean, that's pretty simple. Yeah, we're making our way downtown, walking fast and shit like that. And shit like that, and we're homebound. Making our way downtown, walking fast and shit like that, and we're homebound. 
Don't give a fuck if we run around and who gives shit about that. Making my way downtown, I'm walking fast and shit like that, and I'm homebound. And do you hear that? Do you hear that noise? I'm making it eight measures long. Well, I'll just start with four. We're gonna go ba da 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 ba da da. We're gonna go ba da 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 ba da da on this one part. Here it is. It's coming up. Here it is. There it is. So we're actually gonna have to.
and writing. This will be a simple beat and it'll it'll be good. Boom 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 boom. Get rid of that double snare right there.
There it is. I'm never moving back to Wisconsin, even once in my life, not even once. All those motherfuckers back there ain't gonna get me, cause I'm never moving back to Wisconsin, ever. Never fucking moving back to fucking Wisconsin, fuck that place, I'll die before I move back there. I'll fucking die before I move back to Wisconsin. Did you know that? La 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 Yeah 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 Alright So now that I have this beat Um Aren't the Jews just so ugly? Actually I think that they're kinda hot. They're more hot than they are cold. They warm up my tea. I had iced tea, but then it became hot tea because the Jews came around. Um, because of their hot, because of their attractiveness, because their hot attractiveness. Like, uh, I wonder, I mean, cold attractiveness. It's almost like the word passive aggressive or something. A double, a double opposite. What's a word for that? It's not double entendre, because that's just a double meaning. A double, an opposite, two opposites together, what is the word for that, I wonder? But that's not what I'm saying. I mean, a cold attract, because you might have a cold attractiveness, but they don't really have a word for that. But I guess they might as well make one. You can make extra words for anything, same as like cisgender. You know, Jews have a cold attractiveness. Where it's like they're attractive and there's not a lot of frills. I mean, are there a lot of frills to Jews? Eh, caught me a Jew, but it had too many frills on it. Um, yeah, I think that they do have some frills because they're a little bit queer. There's always something going on back that you can't see. There's always, there's always something else going on that, that they have hidden. There's always something more complex happening. Or is uh, complexity similar to, if you're more complex, you have more frills. I mean, more frills is just more, it's kind of like bad details. That's what a frill is. It's like a specific thing that's added, a decoration that's added that you didn't want. It's a bad decoration, it's a bad detail. Bad details as opposed to good ones. You don't want to get bad details. Um, yes, but I'll die before I move back to Wisconsin. And so, um, you know, maybe I'll just make a beat beforehand and then fuck around talking with the beat that I already made. And I'll just do it in here. And then that's how I'll do it. I can't, I mean, it's just not as entertaining to make a beat during it because then I'll have to edit out a bunch of shit for the boring part, right? It's uh, taking a long time to make the beat. Okay, so what kind of beat do we have here is, um, uh, let me think of something that I was thinking about and that is that, well, who cares what was planned? I don't think I believe in God. I believe in intelligence. That's intelligence theory. It's just the theory that, I mean, it's like uh, the theory about God is relative. 
because uh, Einstein came out with the theory of relativity, and that was similar to Darwin coming out with the theory of evolution. And the reason that those two theories, evolution and relativity, became so big in the world is because they sit in such contrast to Christianity. Because if you believe in relative truth, this is directly against um, major religions that say that there is an absolute truth, objective truth, uh, that relative truth doesn't really exist outside of the person because it's all, um, it all belongs to one guy. Like it all belongs to God or whatever. God, that there is one truth and that is God. That's what I don't believe. I don't believe in monotheism, one, whatever. I don't believe in oneness. I believe in infiniteness or in other words, relativity, relativity, relative rates, relative cycles. There are infinite, uh, kinds of cycles and rates that you can acknowledge. It's just the... Um, most of them we haven't acknowledged. But I'm saying intelligence theory is the theory that God breaks down into relative truth, and that is intelligence. Intelligence is very relative. Uh, that uh, aliens and all of that, it's only... It's only um, I think that God is something like aliens, but there's a higher intelligence, right? People always say that, like, oh, look at creation. It looks like there was a creator. You have to point to some sort of intelligent design. Um, let me bridge the gap for you. God is just intelligence. That's what you're describing. I believe in intelligence. Um, but there's higher levels of intelligence. There's people, people on Earth that are more intelligent than I am. And... Um, this is one of my symbols. I do this. The same as like Donald Trump talks and he does like L like this. Whatever. I don't I don't really know. This like you look at them and then they're going like this and then they're doing this. And so one of mine is this, but I do different symbols, whatever. Um anyway, so what I'm saying is that God is intelligence. Intelligence is very relative. That's intelligence theory. But I'm saying aliens are, um, we're, we are aliens. And the first level of God that I need to recognize is people that are smarter than I am. And then people that are smarter than them are God to them. But it just keeps going. I'm saying it keeps going higher and higher. There are no shortage of beings that are in, more intelligent than us. That's because we have the entire universe at our disposal. An entire universe of beings that we haven't discovered um, and I would say, just relatively speaking, planets, there's other species and beings that are more intelligent than us. And it goes all the way to the top, to whatever is the most intelligent, and that's something like God. But basically, God is just a giant hierarchy, and it breaks down into different... God just breaks down into intelligence levels. I think that that's what God is. There's no one thing that that would be... Um, that's just less intelligent to say God is one thing. You're not recognizing intelligence. You're not recognizing uh, discerning between different ideas and uh, discerning between different rates, different cycles, where a rate is like the thing that allows you to acknowledge something else, allows there to be another recognizable identity. Um, you have to, If you allow yourself to acknowledge more rates, more identities, more de definable things... Um, you're recognizing more intelligence. You're just being stupid if you say there's God and there's only one of them. You're simplifying complexity into simpleness as best you can. And that's what, and religions just want it to be simple. They just want to focus on, people who go to church just want to focus on like Jesus and their family and God. And then that's all that's important. They just want to focus on the same image of Jesus over and over again. The same word, the same person, rather than put your belief in all these different intelligent beings, all these different individualized people. Uh, people who go to religion want to reduce belief into one big pot or they're like the God and Jesus. That's where our belief goes. And that's what intelligence is just one thing. And really there is no intelligence. I think if you go to religion, it's, it's the absence of intelligence to say that God is one thing. And, and I'm saying this is part of a theory that I'm creating called intelligence theory. And it's, it's the, uh, on par with evolution or relativity because, um, it breaks, it's a, it's the theory that breaks God down into relative, relative truths because, we're all just aliens, and um, we're just relatively so. Alienness happens relatively. It's just that there are 
aliens like the ones that ride around in UFOs that are at a higher, high enough level of intelligence above us that we would have to call them aliens. They fall into that category. That's the word that we've come up to describe, come up with to describe them. And um, let me make a, uh, let me make a whatever. Let me, but uh, so relative truth, yeah. Relative truth becomes, it's very godly. It's godly of me to recognize rel relative truth, but that's because I exist at a high level of intelligence already. But, um, I'm so intelligent that I can make a beat and then talk over it. Whoa. But it's just like, the car that you drive is a spacecraft. Because it hovers around and has all these lights. It's, a, it's an alien ship to animals. Animals, all the shit that we're doing is alien to animals, but we, we are the higher intelligence. It's just that... It's just that you're not going to um, not... You're just stupid to not acknowledge levels of intelligence. Like, starting with the human beings that are smarter than us, that are able to create things, whatever that are technologies that are beyond our comprehension or even ones that we haven't seen before. Those people are aliens. Everything everything is aliens. Animals are aliens to, like, bugs, probably. I mean, but especially something that can make a spacecraft, like an airplane or a car that has all these lights on it, but then uh, there's just levels to it. I believe in intelligence. And so I'm saying intelligence. intelligence is an underutilized word because... Look at all that it is capable of because um, because of how intelligent that it can be, because there's no it, there's no end to intelligence because of how above how much it transcends the more intelligent that you get. Like if you're the most in intelligent, you're just at a level of like wisdom where you're above people or whatever. Um, intelligence just keeps going higher and higher. I believe in intelligence. I believe in it. And so hopefully believing in it will make me a more superior being, even more superior than I am right now, because um, it's about superiority. And um, anyway, let me make a, a thing. Let me make a um, synth over this beat. I moved ahead in the program because I'm just gonna make a beat next time and then I'm gonna riff on the beat that I made with words that I say, rather than take all this time to make the beat during it. And that's what I'll do. So I moved out of the program, this is synth I'm making. I'm going to make a synth over what what's playing right now. And so you can hear what's going. Now I'm going to make another synth over that. I'll start by filling in every four steps. Oh my god. Intelligence theory. Um, I feel like sometimes that possible I used to have more of an imagination and with an imagination what you get is a protected space for you to picture things and picture images and let those pictures of images flourish I wonder to myself if I've lost track of my imagination and the only way that I can talk about topics that I'm thinking about and that I'm imagining is just by saying them out loud because it's hard for me to form them in an imagination anymore because I don't live in an imagined space. I'm trying to live in a more active space. And so this is my excuse for, I can't, I don't know, I can talk about ideas like I used to because my imagination is deteriorating. But that's just because you're not supposed to have an imagination. Um, 
So everything is becoming random. I can't keep track, I can't control it anymore. The way that I am, the person that I am. I just have to, I just be it. But regardless, I make an episode, that's a picture for you. Um, that's an image that is taking form and taking shape. This on its own, this video is a picture the same way as a movie is a picture. Um, I still have the same imagination. It's just that I can only enact it by talking about it. Whereas I used to be able to think through things more easily in my protected and sheltered imagination. Um, maybe that's related to intelligence. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. Um, it's, it's terrifying. You might lose track of an imagination. Maybe it's a result of getting older. Maybe it's a result of getting younger at heart, too. So let me make a thing over this right here. Let me go ahead and make a thing over this. So I made it, 
four measures long, and then I copied and pasted it twice, so here's the result. Just need some adjustments. find a different sound for that. some adjustments but um, what are what is my means I need to come up with a beat and then um, riff on it over talking rather than make a beat in the episode this is the last time I'm making a beat while I do the episode but you'll see me back in here uh, welcome back to this persona of this guy that does this congratulations on surviving he made it back um, still alive but anyway, um, believe in intelligence like I do. Uh, listen to me. Here's me. Here I am. Here I am an example in life. Um, I'm just trying to transport myself to a land, to a magical land that's similar to the sound of this very gay magic sounding beat that I made. Uh, I can't wait to adjust it later. It's it's hard to make a beat in an hour. But, um, I'm an example of a life. And you can't take that away. And I'm proud to be an American. Where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men who died and gave that right to me. And I gladly stand up. That's horrible. It's good. It's the best. Be an American, where at least I know I'm free. I won't forget the men who died. Lay that right to me, and I gladly stand up next to you, defender still today. There ain't no doubt. I love this land. God bless the USA. Red, white, blue, orange, yellow, green, purple, yellow, blue, orange, red, white, blue. That's the three. One, two, three, red, white, blue. America has trains, too. America has red, white, and blue and transportation. Trains and, um, so if you go and see two trains going in two different directions today, think of me. Anytime, think of me. I claimed that. Um, that's me. I'm two, I'm going in two different directions at one time. And that only makes it more entertaining because two different agents operating 
operating in opposite directions. I mean, operating in conjunction with each other. And then um, one is a backdrop of the other. The other one is a front drop for the first one. The other one is a front drop for the backdrop. Um, sweet dreams are made of these. Yeah. Box cars. Oil rigs. Oil cars. This beat sucks, quite frankly. I fucking hate it. I can't wait to change it later. This is all I could make in an hour, but um, I hope that you liked it. I hope that you make yourself smart. Um, what the point is that me means. I, am I, and um, I wonder what its relationship to being mean is. Means, you have to ha you have to find means. You have to put means into practice. You have to put your money into practice, but what I'm saying is um, I want to get to that special place where I have money off of what I make, off of my projects, so that I can um, use it as a talisman to guard against conservatives, to ward them off, because if they see that you're making money, they will um, leave you alone and darken into the shadows where, where they're from, you know. You know how, like, churches don't, the sanctuary never has windows, um, and if they do, they're glass or they're, like, um, covered up in some way. You know, the church, conservatives, they're going to fall back into the church and hide in the shadows when I start waving money around. Be like, ha, ah, see, I made this, and then they can't um, criticize me for it. And so I need to transcend to a special place where I materialize, where I make money off of my projects. Um, clearly, I love myself too much, or, or I hate myself and I love myself at the same time. You know, like two trains going in opposite directions. Thank you. And, um... Ba -ba -bum. Let me find a different sound. That's so much better. This is the end of the episode. I hope you made it to this part because this is a better sound than that other one I had. Bye.